Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and let's start this list I've made for Top of Top channel with classic races. You will drive furiously fast on gorgeous landscapes in this hill climbing racing game that takes place in the 60s. For glorious victory, you will have to cross the finish line at the top of the hill as fast as possible. If you are fast enough, you may even be ranked on the world leaderboards. The title stands strong behind its name, has game vibes of the 2000s, and can become very competitive. Well, it's a single player game, but hey, those leaderboards are no joke. Although, keep in mind that some circuits can be exploited to set very low lap times, so if you are not even close to other players, it may be the reason why. Classic Racers has two main game modes, Free Run and Championship, where you will unlock the cars for previously mentioned Free Run mode. There are 13 cars in total, and you can race them in 13 different circuits as well. Initially, the game's cost was 5 euros, but now it's completely free without any shenanigans. No pay tracks or cars, it's full game and it's very nice. Inertial Drift – Sunset Prologue Full game costs about 20 euros right now, but there is a free version of the game called Inertial Drift Sunset Prologue. Here you'll get a bit more than the simple demo version would usually offer. It includes two tracks. One is Lakeside Loop with the long sweeping bends of the lakeside. It's a perfect place to learn your craft as you race around the water's edge. And another one is Sunset Sea Circuit. Here a gorgeous neon sunset provides the backdrop for this technically demanding track. You can ride them with two different cars, so despite the fact that the game is short, you can experience a lot of fun here, just trying to beat your own times over and over again. Haberdashers this is a console-style kart racer for the PC, in which you will control miniature humanoid inhabitants of an everyday home. You will race past huge household items and true rooms, as you compete against human and AI opponents with both driving skills and item pickups. And by that I mean that you will be able to play it alone or as a couch multiplayer game for up to 4 players. Also, Steam's Remote Play Together feature is available as well. Each race will contain 8 races that will be driving modular cars. You can combine at least 4 car bodies, 4 wheel types and various jobs and decals to create your own kinda uniquely looking cart. The game contains free lap races, which will chain your attention to the screen for about 5 minutes each. You will be able to shoot one-time used weapons and abilities from road pickups and even drift on tighter turns. But don't expect miracles, this is a student project, but also it is free from additional fees, DLCs and any other paid stuff, so you can try it without any doubts. Project Torque if you have a potato PC, this is one of the best racing games you can play. Although the game will take 10GB of your drive space, it will only require 2GB of RAM and Core 2 Duo processor. I'm sure you have that. So this is a free-to-play MMO racing game released in 2008, the same year along with GTA 4. Yeah, time flies fast. You can race against other players on the racetracks of Germany, in Hungarian or Mexican off-road tracks, in the English countryside, on the rooftops of Shanghai, and many more. Some say that the game is quite dead because it is an old MMO, but I checked it on SteamDB just a few moments ago and I can assure you that someone is always online. Well, from 2 to 30 players to be exact. Most people are online between 5 and 7 pm on UTC time, so jump in the game during those hours and you will have fun. Wrecked Crash Test this is a stunt driving and racing game. Here in quick gameplay sessions you will complete various challenges to unlock cars, arenas and customizations. Do outstanding tricks and stunts to get the highest scores, face other players and rule the leaderboard, or most likely never see your name on it. Every time you enter the arena you will be given a set of challenges. Many variables can increase or decrease their difficulty, this way creating an infinite amount of objectives that will attract even the most seasoned players. The physics model in Wrecked makes performing tricks incredibly smooth and easy, but don't get too comfortable. It's easy to learn, but hard to master. If you like the game, keep in mind that there is a paid version of it as well, with way more stuff called Wrecked High Octane Stunts. The price is kinda low, only 5 euros at the time of making this video, although when on sale it gets a huge around 70% discount. Also, the second part of the game is in development and it already has a Steam page. Race Room Racing Experience the game takes up to 40 gigabytes of free space, but it also offers a lot of free content. The game is constantly updated, but the last time I checked, that was honestly a year ago, it included 12 free cars, although few of them are really similar. Also 5 tracks where you can race with other people. Although keep in mind that according to many comments on Steam, it is a true sim racing, so every tiny detail is the most important one if you want to achieve that sweet victory. The worst thing is, if you like the game, the paid content is quite expensive, although it's a good thing that you can choose stuff 
stuff to buy and don't need to obtain everything at once. Also, the racing wheel is almost mandatory because, as I can see in the comments, people are having trouble with their controllers all the time. Not everyone, but keep this in mind. Engine Evolution 2022 the game was created by one guy during his studies at university. It is an incredible achievement, keeping in mind that Engine Evolution is a multiplayer racing game that uses similar principles as World of Tanks. With each race against 11 other players, you gain experience and credits, for which you can buy various upgrades for your vehicle or unlock new vehicles. You start with the machines of 1906 and will try to get on the very top and ride on modern machinery. The game includes more than 30 Steam achievements, can be played in single player or online, and features Steam leaderboards as well. The controls here are simplified enough to still give you some challenge, but not too complex to take you hours to learn. The game mainly focuses on giving you the best enjoyment from racing fights possible. Super Dirt Racers You'll race across a low poly landscape over bumps, dips and water. You can choose one out of four cars and they feel different enough to keep your interest in trying them all on all the tracks. The key is to pick up Nitro if you can and use it wisely to get ahead and win all three of the races. The game looks really cute and it seems that it has a lot of potential if they implemented multiplayer in it. But I wrote about the game almost three years ago and literally nothing has changed in this field. It was in early access back then and it still is. The only thing that changed, they added a page. DLC. It features more game modes, vehicles, tracks, and in-game achievements, plus a few other extra things, like carrots. Uh, what? I don't know, man. I never bought that paid DLC. Although keep in mind that it is cheap, so if you enjoy the free game, you can extend the fun a bit. Fuel Renegades. This is an arcade racing game which is free for real. No DLCs, paid tracks or vehicles, no loot boxes and so on. It can be played for up to 4 players on split screen in the same computer, enjoying the mechanics that gives you a smooth game feel. There are a few modes in this game, like Grand Prix or Quick Race, where you can jump straight into the game alone against AI opponents or with your friends. If they are imaginary, you will have to control their vehicles as well. But hey, at least you have an opportunity to play with them. People on Steam are saying that the game is easy to learn but has really high skill cap. Also, it has has great controller support and easy to navigate menus. It lacks content of course, but hey, it's completely free. Trackmania – Nations Forever this is a free game in the truest sense of the word. It lets you drive at mind-blowing speeds on fun and spectacular tracks in solo and multiplayer modes. And that is just a tip of a dick. You can play in solo mode with 65 progressively challenging tracks. It has official ladders for both solo and multiplayer modes, also in-game editor to create your own tracks, video studio to create your own movies and paint shop to customize your vehicles. People on Steam are saying that it will provide you many hours of fun, although some of the players are complaining that they are stuck on a wide screen. That that seems like a big problem, but others are saying that being a noob is not an excuse and you can just google how to fix the problem easily. Well, keep that in mind. Anyway, game is quite old, but it has very positive reviews on Steam and zero paid content. Talk Drift this game, just like Race Room, will try to catch you in with a free game label, but later will try to extort all your money by selling you new cars. Like literally, the game has 41 DLCs available, and if you would want to have them all, it looks like you have to pay about 200 euros. Th that is crazy. Anyway, here you can build your car, attract sponsors, and compete on the world stage in online tandem battles to become a king of drift. The game is promising tournaments of up to 32 players or up to 10 players in open lobbies. That all sounds cool, but keep in mind that the game is a port of a phone game, so don't expect miracles. Although that means you can get it on your phone as well, which is cool. Trackmania. If you like that old Trackmania game, this brand new one will probably be a curious thing to try as well. Although it is brought to us by Ubisoft, and Ubisoft monetizes everything. Anyway, the starter access is free. You'll get a full racing experience with regular seasons. That includes a new season every three months, solo and online progression, and even a track editor. Although as I can see from this table, with starter access you can't use creation and competition, as well as social and customization tools. That sucks. Also, you will have to install the Ubisoft launcher, which sucks even more. You know that famous The Ubisoft service is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Message is not what you want to see. Classic Drag Race Simulator 
game is in early access, but it has mostly positive reviews on Steam and that is a good thing, because early access games tend to perform much worse than full version games, I guess that's the whole point of early access, so he will get most of each guy in the iconic style of the 70s and 80s, and test their original performance in classic head-to-head -head drag races. Challenge your rivals, reach the maximum speed, upgrade your car and make your vintage vehicles faster and faster. You can play this game on your potato PC if you have mere 200 megabytes of free space. It was obviously inspired by mobile games, so don't expect anything very nice. Asphalt 9 Legends According to Steam ratings and very positive review score, it's definitely one of the best games in this list. He will race with the most amazing speed machines handpicked among the world-renowned manufacturers. Yeah, they have bought the licenses, so you can actually drive a Ferrari, Porsche or McLaren, collect them, upgrade their stats, pick the color and carbon parts and fully customize your rides. Well, to be clear, this is a mobile game ported to PC, but unlike some other titles in this list, they did a really great job by upgrading graphics and overall experience. Of course, it will offer you to buy stuff in game, but it also has a plenty of free features and looks really great. Sky You'll explore the land and skies in your trusty seaplane. You can land it anywhere on the water and visit a local port to pick up quests. The surrounding environment allows for you to maneuver and pass rock formations and to soar island peaks. The quests from locals challenge you to guide ships, follow other airplanes, pick up goods and set the fastest times in races. Yeah, that's why this game is on this list. People in the comments are saying that this is a simple relaxing game with interesting landscape and fun challenges. And you can't beat the price. Also, the reviews score is above 90%, so this game may be what you were looking for after all. Copa Petrobas de Marcas this is a sim racing game, so don't expect the controller or keyboard to work very well. If you want to truly enjoy the game, a wheel is almost a must-have. So the game itself is a promotional title of Petrobas Company, which is the sponsor of Brazilian motor racing. So they just made the game and shared it absolutely free with the world. Great advertising move. Well, an expensive one, that is no doubt. You know, it's like Carlsberg would make a football game and give it to everyone for free. That would actually be nice. Guys from Carlsberg, please, think about it. Anyway, some angry people on Steam are cursing the game's graphics, but I think that is dumb. You take a free game that is about 10 years old and try to bash it. That just shows your low self-esteem, dude. Don't do that. Also, in this list, there are plenty of games with even worse graphics. It's a list of free games after all. Anyway, Petrobas is hovering on mostly positive review score not only because of graphics, but also it is quite buggy. So, beware. Anyway, it's free. You lose nothing for trying. Cut Ride Adrift this is an online, free-to-play, cross-platform kart racer, with deep kart and character customization. Eight players can race online in up to teams of four, and face off in item or drift-focused races with karts and characters you personalize. You can play it on Steam, on console, or even on your phone. You can change your kart's body, wheels, license plate, boosters, and even build your own decals. And there are no paywalls or pay-to-win elements preventing you from having a great time while topping the leaderboards. Of course, there are plenty of various cosmetics you can buy if you have an urge. Honestly, I think that if you enjoy the game for a long time, buying something is like saying thank you to the developers, but that is absolutely not mandatory. Also, I like how the creators are communicating with people on Steam. That shows they care for the game and their players. Shadow Racer this is a third-person driving adventure game where you control the Shadow Rider, a car built by the Resistance, able to eliminate the darkness of the Empire. In a post-apocalyptic future, the world has been corrupted by darkness. The only place in the world that remains free from the control of the Dark Empire is the Grand Canyon. So, to save the world, you will have to master the four car elements – drifting, flashing, boosting and bumping. Save the valley by exploring a cursed world filled with battles, secrets, great characters and exciting racing challenges against the best racers in the land. Game is a proud owner of very positive reviews. Players on Steam are praising the game for having great controls and fun gameplay. Electro Ride Prologue Let's be fair, this game looks awesome. This is a racing game with 1980s retro vibes set in an alternate Europe. Yeah, the Eastern Bloc did not fall, but transformed into a center of eternal wealth and progress. This is where the fame awaits you. You'll find no ABS, no traction control, no modern electronic systems. Only you and a beautiful classic vehicle with super powerful neon lights. So in this free version, you will get a training ride through the streets of Warsaw, in the neon version of Sirena Sport, and full race on one of two 
two selected routes in East Berlin. You will be able to choose the neon version of one of two Polish Fiats and defeat 12 other cars by choosing one of three difficulty levels. Although be warned that playing with a keyboard can be a pain. Use some other device. People are praising a good race design and beautiful scenery. And the music in the game matches the surroundings really well. The only bad thing is a lack of introduction to the story. And also even the full paid version of the game is quite short in general. Track and Burn. This is a stylish, absolutely free-to-play racing game set in the 70s, combining the best old-school racing with custom track building. As developers say, it is the spiritual successor to legendary titles like Driver and Trackmania. The game is built by a veteran team with a passion for motorsports and elegant French design. You will ride through urban cityscapes, design your own tracks and compete with the community. Although the community is bashing the game because of its bugs, and everyone agrees that the game needs a bit more work. But hey, it looks awesome and it's free. Try it out. And now don't hesitate and subscribe for more lists like that, there will be plenty of those in the future. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!